What's up guys, Dino here, welcome back to my racing channel. Before we go on to about the tips we had today, can I just firstly thank the new subscriber to the channel. It is very, very much appreciated. Um, hopefully we can get a few winners more on this channel. You've all seen missed a heck of a lot of really good tips um, that we've handed out on the channel. Whether it be winners, whether it be each ways, seconds or thirds. Um, but yeah, welcome to the channel, really much appreciate it. Um, as I keep on saying, if there is any newer subscribers out there, let's hit that button, let's hit that bell, you'll get all my videos today, tomorrow, next week and next month. And also, there is almost, almost 90 videos on this channel, all to do with horse racing. It tells you all about the going, the stalls, the jockeys, the race courses, and the horses, you name it, it's all on here. Shows you how to place bets, shows you how to read a race card, etc, etc. So all this is on this channel, and there is also a lot of tips, if you're a newcomer that you've missed on the channel. Click on the videos anyway, listen to the videos and the horses that have, you know, have tipped out. Um, but yeah, all good information on here, all honest, all truthful, no BS whatsoever on this channel, alright? So, let's go on to the tips, and I'll quickly just run through these, pretty disappointing day, um, but in the first, the 220 at Newmarket, we did do Sir Sergei Prokofiev, which was fourth, running on at the end, five furlongs, I think just slightly too short for it, I think he's better over six furlongs, but all credit to Mabs Cross, first run out, nine stone ten, incredible performance, absolutely incredible performance. Equilaterals run a really good race as well, but we did Sergei Prokofiev, which is fourth, was running on the end, but I think six furlongs is probably best for him. We will then go into the second of the tips, and again, 255 at Newmarket, we did Coronet, this was probably the one I was most disappointed with. To come in fourth, this horse is running better races than this. Um, and I was disappointed with that. I mean, it's been beaten five and a half lengths, which is quite long for that horse. Um, good, good quality horse. Maybe John Gosden just, he's maybe got bigger fish to fry later on in the season with it. And this was just this type of race, just to get the cobwebs wiped away, but to put it into a group two, you would really think that he would have it near enough fit to win this. But all credit to the winner, he won it convincingly, the fours ran a better race this time around, but ours was Coronet, another fourth of the day, that's two fourths, um, so yeah, I was a little bit disappointed with that. And the third one, which is obviously the big race, and I'll say it again, we did say in the video yesterday that if any of Aidan O'Brien's is fit, there'll be a danger, a big, big danger. And as much as everyone was back in 10 sovereigns, Magna Gracia has won it um, convincingly as well. Um, but I do think if you were drawn high in this race, you were obviously going to have a bit of a benefit because that's obviously where the fast ground was. Um, and if you notice the first two, they're drawing 17 and 19. But the one to take out of it is our tip. Mad Moon needs further. Absolutely needs further. If you watch a race, it was the only horse running on at the end. So that horse, I would think, will probably go to the Dante. Um, I would think. Because with it running on, it probably needs one mile, two furlongs, possibly one mile, four. It cruised through the race, travelling perfectly well, um, I just think it needs a bit further, but it's run a good race, that's the one to take out of this race, race is Mad Moon, uh, but Magna Grecia has run a cracking race, um, and obviously Ryan Moore has picked the wrong one, which is very unusual, it's not like him, alright, so another fourth, but hey, who said it was going to be easy, it's always hard when you've got you know, first time runners, etc. Um, ones that have maybe just had one race. So it's, it's very, very tough 
to pick the winner. You've got to really have maybe a couple of races under his belt um, and see how these horses are running, especially the O'Briens. But we're on to tomorrow, and it's a 1,000 guineas at 335 at Newmarket. And I've this is another toughie. There's about eight or nine horses in this could, that could probably win this, just like a 2,000 guineas. It's not any easier. Um, yeah, there's about six horses in here or seven horses that's had a run. The rest haven't, so that just shows you how tough it is. Some have run on good to firm, some's run on good, some's run on good to soft. So again, another confusing race, difficult race to pick a winner. But I've had a look at them, I've looked at the form, I've done my homework. And as I say, even though you do your homework, it doesn't always work out that way. But more times than not, it does. So, as much as today was disappointing, with four, eh, with three fourths. Again, I'm going to go each way in this race, and I'm going to go with just wonderful. Um, he's drawn high, and drawn fifteen. Um, which, unless they change the stalls around, if he's drawn high, then he should be drawn on the stand side. So that will give him a good run um, with the wheel. Uh, I know the stalls will probably be parked right in the middle of the, the race course. As soon as he comes out of that stall, he'll probably head for that wheel. I would have thought. So yes, my tip for tomorrow, it's only one tip, I'm going to go for just wonderful uh, tomorrow in the 1000 guineas, which ran some good races uh, against good, good quality horses, just as um, Skitter Catter, it's another danger, Fairyland's a danger, Dan Do ran at one, ran on good to soft, um, which ran okay on good ground. Um, but yeah, I just think just wonderful each way. Hopefully, it'll get us home tomorrow. All right. So disappointing today. Too many fourths, um, but we don't have many of the days. We've either got it almost bang on with um, uh, first, seconds or thirds. It's very rare that we get. I mean, I think we've done over sixty horses, sixty tips. And we have got something in the region of about 46 of them have come in the first, second or third, which is exceptional. And that's around about 75%. It's terrific. It really is terrific uh, tipping. So we need to keep this channel going. We need to get more subscribers, as I say. Thank you to the new subscriber. Very much appreciated. But that's a tip for tomorrow. Um, the 1,000 guineas at Newmarket horse is going to be just wonderful all right and let's hope it is just wonderful uh, for us tomorrow all right you ladies and gents take care and i'll see you all soon